So I learned people are now doing something. You will go to my YouTube channel and watch things about love language and then come back to put it into use in the wrong way. Hey, hey, uncle, come. And so, in fact, join him because you are not even innocent in this matter. So, yes, I talked about love languages and I talked about them because I think it exists. Everybody have their love language. But you people are using this thing in the wrong way. Because, so, what is now happening is... Uncle will say, Auntie, I speak your love language. It is a word of affirmation. I buy you gifts. I give you quality time, acts of services, but you're not speaking my own. Auntie will now say, Uncle, what is your love language? And I will tell you my love language is physical touch. <laughs> gay, gay. So you want to be doing physical touch love language when you're still cotton. Uncle and Auntie, you guys are just on your way to hellfire. Because immorality, I mean, the Bible standards does not know what is called love language. So far as it negates what the Bible says, that thing does not have any root spiritually. What am I saying? Anybody that comes from anywhere, no matter how educated or uneducated, to tell you that his or her love language is physical touch, at least just small kissing now or small touching. I'm not saying let's do the main thing, but you need to feed my love language as well because we're in a relationship together. Tell that person... I don't understand that. You are, I mean, it is not bad that you know your love language is physical touch. You're a human being. But you are not allowed to explore that until your marriage. Why? Because if you explore it, it is sin. You are not supposed to touch a sister inappropriately or touch a brother inappropriately who is not yet your husband or your wife. I don't mean the one you call husband and wife on your head because he has said, will you marry me or will she marry me? No. I mean, until you're legally joined, you are not yet married. And love languages of physical touch should be out of the picture for both of you. No use principles set by man to sin against God. It is not going to be permissible. Not because I said or not because your favorite preacher said. Sin is sin. Immorality is immorality. Whether it is a night to your wedding or after he said, I want to come and see your, I want to come and see your parents or will you marry me? So far as you guys are not yet married, run from that love language they call physical touch. It is not yet for you. Don't worry, you're going to do it and you're going to be tired. She'll be this thing. You're going to be tired of it. So what am I saying in essence? Please don't let anybody deceive you into practicing or exploring that thing you're calling love language as i mean physical touch please stay chaste it is still important to god